Hi everyone, it's time for another Tip of the Week. Now this week I'm recording my Tip of the Week out of Toronto. Um, and I thought that I would return back to a subject that I had been asked about um, quite a while ago. And um, I talked about it back then, uh, not in the Tip of the Week series, it was at the end of last year. But I thought that I would return to this question again now. Um, which is how to do rough drawings in um, our software. So let's start by taking a look in Animate. And um, as you know, uh, between Animate, Animate Pro, and Harmony, we have a ver variety of different tool sets available. So for example, when you're working in Animate, you don't have the ability to use a textured brush. You're limited to this brush of a thick and thin line, but you don't have that texture on it. So when you're doing a rough, Usually I'll just select my blue here, um, and I'll probably call this my rough color, so I don't use it for anything else. Um, and I like to go to the value slider because I find it more intuitive that I have the value on the top and I have the color down here. And I choose something kind of midway there that reminds me of my color race blue pencil. And then I'll also give it a bit of some alpha so that I can build up on the, on the color or um, on it as I go. So... Now forgive me, I'm not going to do a very good drawing here because I don't have the most uh, comfortable workspace, but you see then as you're drawing your roughs, if you have that semi-transparent color, you know, you can kind of build up on it and you can even knock in some basic shading on this if you want to and, you know, off you go. So for me, doing it with a semi-transparent clear color is still good enough to get um, a good feeling as I'm doing this. Um, I think that different people have different levels of experience doing things digitally and you know the the less comfortable you are with digital the more you want it to behave the way you would be normally doing it on paper so um, you know just keep in mind as you're doing your roughs that you can zoom in you can zoom out you can rotate your workspace uh, you know with your control and alt or command and alt um, on um, a Mac and then that might make it easier to get in there and do some things with that. So, uh, you know, that's that's pretty much all I would suggest for, for doing this with Animate. Okay, so now if we take a look at Animate Pro, um, it's very similar, of, obviously, in a lot of ways. Uh, the only difference is now in Animate Pro, you do have the ability to use a texture brush. Now, I often will just choose one of the ones that's already a preset um, texture brush that's in here. Uh, but you know it de really depends you can see down here a preview of what that texture looks like and you can play around with it and see which one of these is going to work uh, for you better um, I don't know I tend to like two or three but uh, you can also load in your own from Photoshop now if you want to do that then you can just click on the texture button there and you can load in here either a PSD or a Targa file those are the two types of file you can load in so then I would do the same thing I did with the color though. I would go and I'd get myself something that's kind of, you know, like my color race blue um, color and I'd go semi-transparent. And then now I can use that just in combination with that texture. And usually I use texture on my roughs and then I do my cleans with the, um, you know, the regular brush or pencil tool depending on what I'm using. And then I'll get rid of my rough layer. I'll actually go back and and delete my rough layer later on um, so that my scene doesn't get too heavy with lots of textures in it. But you can see how you can get that sense of buildup on top of it. And it's almost interesting to play around with like going between having a texture brush and a not texture brush. So you can use a little bit of texture here and there where you want it to be and yet you can go back and play around with the regular brush a little bit to get some of that in there. And of course, you can play around with some different colors as well if you want. Um, like right now, I'm just pretty much sticking with that color raised blue color. But if you want to play around with having a couple of different shades of blue or um, throwing some shadows in there or whatever you like, you can play around with some of that. But um, I usually pretty much just stick to that. And then I can use the O key to get a bigger brush if I want to lay in some shading. And um, maybe I will have a copy of that blue color that's even more transparent um, that I can use to, to knock in some shading too, just so that I can really build up on that shadow as I go. And I can still, of course, uh, rotate my light table like normal. So that's all the same, zooming in and zooming out. 
Now, if we want to go one step further and go into Harmony, Harmony is the same deal as Anime Pro in the case that I will use my brush still to do that texture. And I'll select a texture brush with my blue um, color here that I like to have and semi semi-transparent. And um, I will still use the texture brush to build up that initial shading on there and um, knocking in a little bit of color. And you can see how you can really build up how you want that shape to look, um, getting some general shapes going in there. And, um, you know, and then at some point, I will move over to working with um, maybe a bit of a solid color in there the same way I did with Anime Pro. Now when it comes to actually doing the cleans in Harmony I'll usually stick to using a pencil tool instead of the brush tool uh, just because when you use that pencil tool in Harmony you still get the thick and thin whereas in um, Animate or Animate Pro if you want to have thick and thin you have to use your brush um, but in Harmony, if you want thick and thin, you can use either the brush or the pencil. So I'll just show you guys that really super briefly after I get a couple more strokes laid in here. So I know I'm doing a terrible job on this drawing. You know when you're trying to do something in a demo, it always comes out kind of silly looking. Um, but okay. But what's nice about this is if you switch to the pencil tool in Harmony, then of course you're going to use your black color on top of that but you see if I just make my brush a little bit bigger here you'll see that you do still get the nice thick and thin that you would get when you're using the brush tool in um, Animate or Animate Pro but what's nice is that you still have the ability to go back and modify the position of these lines so oh and the other thing is I probably should have done these on a different layer so I've got that select by color ability and, and harmony that I can actually go back and just isolate that color onto its own layer and I can turn on the light table if I want to see the other layer underneath it and now I can use my contour editor tool and I can actually modify the position of that line you see after I've drawn it from the center contour which works really really nicely it's really easy to to just play around with that and if I want to I can use the bezier handles too so I tend to like um, doing the pencil in um, Harmony for my clean and doing the rough with a combination of some texture and some not texture. And um, then maybe if I have a chance to next week I can talk more about texture when you want to do um, texture on your final drawings, not just on your roughs. Um, so let's leave that where it is for today and I'll see you guys next week.